image-guided radiotherapy. It's probably the biggest advance in the field of radiation therapy in the past decade. What this allows us to do is to deliver radiation in much higher doses where the probability of killing the cancer is greater. Treatment with conventional radiation that used to take seven weeks plus, we can now deliver uh, as effective or perhaps even more effective treatment in a single afternoon. What makes it all possible is image-guided technology. We now have the capability to image patients while the radiation is being given. So that means we're able to confirm that the radiation is being given exactly as intended. So it's safer, kind of in a global sense. If I were to bring you into what we call the treatment bunker, you'll see a very large L-shaped machine that rotates around a central axis. That is what delivers the actual radiation. It's called the linear accelerator. What's unique to the machines that we have is that mounted on these machines are special x-ray plates and x-ray sources. By rotating these x-ray sources in 360 degree arcs around the patient, we're able to actually take CT scans in real time, which gives us three-dimensional information of exactly where the patient is located relative to where the machine is aimed. Let's suppose a patient with a metastatic spine tumor. IGRT is used to treat spine tumors by focusing multiple beams of radiation that converge on the tumor. We have the capability to sculpt that radiation in any coordinate and three-dimensional space with submillimeter accuracy so that it conforms very tightly to what we call the target. We feel very confident in giving high doses of radiation that are necessary to kill the tumor and still spare the spinal cord from radiation injury. Each treatment represents a real team of experts working in a coordinated fashion. We have world-class experts in surgery, including Dr. Mark Bilski, our spine surgeon. In chemotherapy, in radiation therapy, in medical physics, we have extremely well-trained nurses, radiation therapists. The team approach allows us to take full advantage of the many different types of expertise that are represented at this institution. That's something that you may not find in other centers but something that we feel very confident about at Memorial Sloan Kettering. There is no question that image-guided radiation has changed the way spine tumors are treated at this hospital. One reason why I'm such a big fan of this approach is that I have seen time and time again the added benefit to our patients. There's probably been about 3,000 plus patients who have been treated with spine radiosurgery worldwide. Over 90% of patients who are suitable for image-guided radiation are reporting long-term durable palliation of spine tumor-related pain.